Okay, so now we're going to have a unit on voluntary movement. And voluntary movement is everything to us. It is our only way to express who we are. We use voluntary muscles. And voluntary muscles are special muscles. They're, they, they are similar to cardiac muscle in the sense that they have stripes. But th that's an anatomical um, similarity. In general... Voluntary muscles differ very much from cardiac muscle because cardiac muscle we cannot control voluntarily. But skeletal muscle, voluntary muscle, we can control. That's a little bit of an overstatement. There are a few uh, voluntary muscles that we can't control. Uh, for instance, the stapedius and the tensor tympani that we talked about in the hearing unit, we can't control those middle ear muscles. And there are other muscles which we can control, but we can only control them within a certain group. For instance, I can't individually move one of my laryngeal muscles, one of the muscles that, that um, uh, is part of my larynx, is part of the way that I uh, produce speech. I can't m move them individually, but I can voluntarily engage packages of, of uh, laryngeal muscles. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an introduction to voluntary movement and we're going to move on to, we're going to go from the bottom up. We're going to look at different types of muscles and different um, motor neuron types. Then we'll look at reflexes. We'll look at automatic stereotype movements and movements of self-expression. These are the three major types of movements. And what we'll see is that each of them is governed by a different set of, of neurons in the, in the central nervous system um, so that you can have a deficit in one of these types of movements without having any problem doing the other types of movements. Uh, and so that, so movement is not movement is not movement. There are many different types of movements. These are the general classes of the, of movement, voluntary movement. And what we'll see is that they're individually, uh, uh, controlled and anatomically separated. Okay, so in the next uh, segment, we'll start off by looking at the motor hierarchy. <laughs>